Today we're going to be working with triangles and we are going to find a missing measure or several missing measures in a triangle based on how many degrees are in every triangle. To review that, we just need to know that all triangles, no matter what they look like or what size they are, the sum of all the angles will always be 180 degrees. The three angles together, when you add them up, will always be 180 degrees. The first example we're going to look at is number one on your notes page. This particular triangle is going to be pretty easy because they're already telling us the two bottom angles as specific measurements. If you remember from the last page, we said that the whole entire triangle would be 180 degrees no matter what. So if I know these two given angles, I can add them together and then subtract it from the total. So 78 plus 31 is 109, and then I would simply subtract that from 180. Then that should be 71. So the missing measurement for angle M, that's what this means, the missing measurement for angle M is 71 degrees. Now if you wanted to double check to make sure you got the right answer, we could list out these three numbers, 78 plus 31 plus 71, and when we add that together, it should be 180. If it is, then we got it right. We're skipping example two on your notes page and we're going to example three. This one looks a little bit different. If I zoom in on the triangle, You'll notice that it, this time each angle doesn't say a specific degree. It gives me an expression. Something is multiplied and then added more to it. So this time it's going to be a little bit trickier, but we're going to use equations to solve for the x value, and then we can substitute it in to get the entire angle. So I'm going to go back to my total. Every triangle, no matter what, is 180 degrees. I'm going to take each angle and I'm going to write down what they told me into an equation and make it equal 180 at the end. Okay, so I'm going to start out 2x plus 5. Then I'm going to add in the next angle. It doesn't matter which one you pick. 5x plus 3. And I'm going to pick in the last angle, 7x plus 4. And all together, since it's a triangle, it should equal 180 degrees no matter what. So this looks like an extremely long equation. But when we solve them, we're going to draw a line to cut it into two sections, left and right. Instead of working with all these numbers individually, I'm going to combine the ones that are alike. So, for example, the numbers that all have variables or the letter X, I can go ahead and combine them together. 2X's plus 5X's plus 7X's should be 14X's. Then again, I can do the same thing with the regular numbers. 5 plus 3 plus 4. That should be 8 plus 4, so that's 12. So all together on the left side, all these things together equal 14 x's and then 12 as my constant number. On the right side, the whole entire thing still equals 180. Now this looks way easier to solve. I just have 14 times something plus 12, and the total is 180. So when we work backwards, instead of adding 12, I'm going to subtract 12. Twelve minus 12 will cancel out. I still have my 14 x's. And something times 14, now I can go ahead and subtract on the right side, 180 minus 12. And that should be 168. 
If you happen to know in your brain 14 times some magical number equals 168, awesome. If not, then the last thing we do is divide by 14 to get the value of x. 168 divided by 14, if you type that in your calculator, it is 12. So what I know at this very moment is every x is worth 12. So I'm going to shrink all this up out of the way just a little bit. The first angle that they're telling me that I need to find is angle T. Angle T is up at the top and it says 7x plus 4. So for angle T, the expression was 7x plus 4. I'm going to take the value I just found for x, I'm going to plug it in where the x is, and I'm going to find out how much t equals. 7, x is going to be 12, plus 4. 7 times 12 is 84. Then I'm going to add 4 more to that. So the final value of angle t is 88 degrees. The next angle that it wants me to do is angle u. And you look in your diagram, angle u says 2x plus 5. So to do letter U, I'm going to take that expression, 2x plus 5, and again, the x is 12. So 2 times 12 plus 5. 2 times 12 is 24, plus 5 more. That means the value of U is 29. So on your line, you would write in 29 degrees. And the last angle we're going to look for is angle V, and that says 5x plus 3. And I'm going to put that one up here because I'm running out of space. Angle V, the expression was 5x plus 3. X is still 12, so I'm going to have 5 times 12 and then add 3 more. 5 times 12 is 60. If you add three more, that tells you the total value of angle V is 63 degrees. And that's how you would use all these little expressions that are in the angle spots to end up finding the real true value of each angle. Okay, we're going to try one more. This M diagram has some inside and outside angles. I'm going to zoom in on this a little bit to start with. Um, angle C is going to be 4 times something. Angle D is going to be 7 times something and add 6 more. So these two are similar to the problem we just solved. This angle, I don't know any information about it. However, I do know that together this makes a straight line. And a straight line is supposed to be 180 degrees. So for the missing part that's right here, if I know the total is 180, I can subtract this 116 to get this value. So 180 minus 116, that should be 64. So I'm going to take that 64 and I'm going to put it in this angle. That way later, I already know that that's exactly 64. Okay, zoom back out so I have some room. And it, that angle is C, E, D. Instead of only calling that angle E, um, this is actually the angle that they're referring to. C, E, D, or D, E, C. It still has the same path. So I can go ahead and fill that in as 64 degrees. Okay, now I'm just going to do the same thing we have been doing all together. The entire triangle is 180 degrees. And I'm going to take angle C, which is 4Y. I'm going to add it with angle D, which was 7Y plus 6. And now I can add it with this little angle right here that we just found out is 64. 
And at the end, since it's a triangle, no matter what, the total has to be 180. We now have this set up so that we can solve it like the previous example. I'm going to combine the numbers that are alike. So I have these letters with a Y. 4 plus 7 is 11 Ys. And then 6 and 64, that should make 70. And the total is still 80. I mean 180, sorry. Okay, working backwards again, instead of adding 70, I'm going to subtract 70. Those cancel out, so we still have our 11 Ys. And 80 minus 70 is 110. So this one's pretty easy to figure out. Um, y would be 10. Just the value of Y is 10. Oh, I wrote that too. Let me squeeze this stuff around. Okay, let's see if these match up. All right, I got that fixed. Now I have some room so I can go back in and find, uh, oh my goodness gracious. I can go back in and find the real uh, measurement of C because it's 4Y and the real measurement of D because it's 7Y plus 6. So I'm going to do 4Ys. We just got through figuring out that Y is only 10. So this would be 4 times 10. Now I know the angle of C truly is 50. So I can go up and write that on this line, 50 degrees. And the last angle that I need to know is D. And D said 7Y plus 6. Y again is equaling 10. So 7 times 10 plus 6. 70 plus 6 is 76. So the real value of angle D is 76. If for some reason I wasn't sure about that, I'm just going to fix that, I could add these three numbers together, 50 plus 76 plus 64, and they should equal 180 degrees. All right, guys, your notes, the back of it has your homework on it. So good luck, and the rest is up to you. All right, guys, little Avery's going to help you, or you can ask me. She's going to find those missing angles with her spider girl webs. Good luck.